Hello, welcome to a new Photoshop challenge. I'm Andre, and this is the challenge that I have for you this week. Um, I made this picture last night, and the photo that you will have for this uh, challenge is this. So you'll have the man, the sandbags, and the floor. You'll have it as a PSD file, so if you want to change the floor or, or maybe those sandbags, you want to put some something else or change completely uh, this, you can do it, uh, but use the soldier uh, for for this uh, challenge. Um, I'm gonna show you how I made this um, really quick, you, showing you the layers that I have, but uh, first let's see the, f the pictures that you created for the previous Photoshop challenge. Let's go to um, to Facebook first. Um, these are uh, some of the images that uh, you submitted and let's take a quick look through them have different um, kinds of edits, different colors, different ambience. Uh, this girl, I see this is a book or a photograph or something. Yeah, oh yeah, it's herself <laughs> uh, looking there in the distance. Uh, abstract stuff and I like this one. Uh, I can see um, he changed the color of the, of the shirt and the I like the background. This one also is nice, the sunset or sunrise here. And yeah, as you can see, uh, different kinds of edits. And we have a night edit, really weird, different perspectives. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but I I like it. I like the, the color of it. Some HDR tone. I like the color, maybe it's too extreme a bit here on the face. Um, more night um, night effects and this is everything here on Facebook you can search hashtags on Facebook so if you want to search for for previous um, challenges you can use the hashtags to search and uh, let's go to Instagram uh, this is my account on Instagram if you want to follow me um, I feature um, other users uh, images if you use the hashtag PSD box, but let's see this challenge Here we have 31 posts and some of them are repeated because um, some of them are also on Facebook. So um, Let's take a look through some of them. I like this one with the floating island This one is kind of weird but I like the I like the clouds there mm. I like um, natural edits uh, with soft light, like in this case over here. And this one also, this is maybe one of my favorites. This one and this one. Uh, but all of them are nice. This one looks like, like yeah, it's underwater. Um, rather sort of a sun uh, sunset effect. Looking good. Uh, this one is weird. Uh, well, it's it's different. I like the the vegetation and everything. It looks <laughs> nice and interesting. This guy jumping there into that uh, cave or whatever that thing is. And uh, well, these ones are kind of abstract. This one as well. This one is really dark. I can barely see something there. You can I can see that they changed the legs of the woman, but too uh, too bad it's that dark. Uh, well, as you can see, uh, this I like this one as well. Um, this night effect, maybe too much light here on the face and there, but um, looks nice. And this one is cool as well. So uh, these are all the entries that you submitted for for the previous challenge. Uh, for this challenge, you can use the same hashtag uh, with changing the number uh, PSD box desafio five, and that's it. Let's see how I made this. Um, artwork really quick. I will make a premium tutorial out of this but uh, going into more details but let me show you how I created this really quick. So I started with the background which is this one. I uh, purchased this image from 123rf.com and I just deleted the background and added the new sky and then I used this image uh, which I took myself with a lower opacity just to add some texture and some color with this other one and using the multiply blend mode and lowering the opacity. I wanted something kind of um, not really com not really complex. So then I added a background, another picture that I took myself in 2014, deleted the sky, 
uh, really quick using the quick selection tool. And then I use Pixel Squid a lot to add lots of elements uh, here. So in the background, I added this to uh, nuclear whatever things are, but you know, uh, from a nuclear uh, power plant. And then, well, more details to fill the scene, some light uh, street lamps. Then I added this uh, sandbags, uh, again from Pixel Squid, and then I added my soldier resting over there. Uh, it was really difficult to find something that I liked. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the <laughs> things that I did. I made some tries with some of the pictures that I took myself for the background, but they didn't. I didn't really like them, so I tried this one as well. When I do things like this, what I do is I get backgrounds and put my subject onto different backgrounds and just really quick trying to see if the light matches uh, if i can get something useful in this case i wanted more space here on the left side that's why i decided i would use this one and then i added a tank uh, destroy tank using pixel squid as well i have this plugin here which uh, i think i already showed it uh, you can spin the objects around and because they are smart objects, you will see them uh, reflected here on on the canvas, and you can change the perspective and the angle so you can adapt them to your to your perspective. Um, let's undo that. Well, place contents. Okay, and that, then I added some smoke here. Um, let's see where that is. And I use the normal blend mode. There's no blending modes here. The only thing that I did is I changed the blending settings because the image, let me show you, the image was like this. And I wanted to get rid of the white area. So I use this because with blend mode, it doesn't work. And then I, a simple blend, um, layer mask, some fire, again, using the blend settings and a basic layer mask to get the fire there and some fire particles flying around, some light, and what else? Um, more objects, more debris on the ground to fill in the scene using, again, the Pixel Squid uh, plugin. Then I added a barrel here. I wanted to fill in the scene and I added also a, a tree here. Uh, I think it looked a bit better with it. Then I think I have a rifle somewhere here, assault rifle, a shadow, and just objects around here then i added the boy let me show you. i have i added some texture over him to some dirt okay here on the on the shirt as you can see using layer masks and some adjustment layers some layer styles to create the shadows and the lighting on him some dust and i also added a stop sign and more stuff around here more details and then I created the final um, effect. Let me show you the effect that I created using these adjustment layers. Uh, basically, I use a layer, um, gradient map, color lookups to just change the tones, and curves to change the lighting. And this is a, you know, this layer here is a dodging and burning layer, uh, but using only an empty layer and the soft light, and using the black and white colors with a really low opacity. Then a solid color to fill in some tones on the shadows, some curves to add some vignetting, and then camera raw for the final effect, and another color lookup to give the final color touch. And that's how I created this uh, in a really quick uh, way. I'm gonna make a detailed tutorial, a premium tutorial in a few days, but um, this is how I created it. So I hope you, you will enjoy this Photoshop challenge, and we'll see you next week.